going guys? Today we're at the Mishawaka Amphitheater. We're here with Phil Lewis, amazing artist. We're here with Phil with I-25 Kia, Danny, the owner of the Mish, and Ron with I-25 Kia. So we're gonna check out why these guys have collaborated. What's up guys, I'm Phil Lewis. We're up here at the Mish today and uh, we're just meeting with the team here that put together the artwork for this tent and sort of elevate the visual experience alongside the stage. With my artwork, all of it is digital. So one thing that's cool about that is I'm able to take bits and pieces from different finished pieces of artwork and sort of remix them in different ways. I basically went through my catalog and selected lots of different animals from uh, the Colorado region that I've been inspired by over my last 20 years living here. So in the end, this is like a giant collage basically that sort of encapsulates a lot of the work that I've done over those past 20 years. The title of this piece is called One Love and it's really about sort of the collective energy that I feel we all share and that's something that's really special about collaborating and getting together with other people and sort of putting projects together to help sort of elevate the whole. It's kind of crazy when I stop and think about all the time that's spent on each one of these pieces individually and to put them all together into one giant piece. There's literally thousands of hours worth of my time creating art all involved in one print that's here now in one place that you can see at the same time. One of the things that I really think is special about collaborating is that you get to combine your energies and your focus and your goals. And so for me as an artist, it's really cool to come together with people like Phil from I-25 Kia and Danny from The Mish to sort of say, to, how can we put our energy together and create something that's, that's bigger than our own individual parts? For me, I probably would not have come up with the idea of vinyl wrapping a giant tent to house the sound guys, but here we are, you know? <laughs> and so we have a venue to do it. We have a sponsor to help put the whole thing together and we have my artwork to sort of adorn the thing. And together we created something that I don't think any of us would have done individually. Strategic partners, if you will. You're just trying to better, you know, whether it's you're trying to better your business or you're trying to better the world, or you're trying to better the place, the community that you're in, um, because you're passionate about what you do. And so you, you do that with individuals. And you're so much more powerful with, by collaborating than you are just in your own, your own level. The end product that the community gets is phenomenal. Well, and they, and they might not have seen something like this, right? Like, mm -hmm. so it's an opportunity to bring them things that they may not come across. It just creates a, a better overall experience for everyone and, and opens up opportunities for people to learn more. You know, everyone who comes to the Mish is a lover of the outdoors sure. and a lover of music and the arts and to get to experience even more than they thought they would. They thought, I'm coming up to see a show, but it's not just that, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's the beauty of the place. It's the, it's the incredible artwork that we have to show. Um, and so I'm super excited for this kind of partnership because it provides more for the people who are coming here, you know? And I've always been about development, artist development, people development. You're, you're creating value. Yeah. By providing that, an atmosphere, an elevated atmosphere for the audience, that energy from the audience also gets fed directly into the musicians on stage. Uh, before I started my path as a visual artist, I played music in a band. You know, when you're a musician on stage, you're, you get the most immediate feedback that you can from any sort of art form, at least that I participate in. Just to speak to the point of collaboration, we're all in it together, you know, and that's the beauty of sort of hosting events and having a venue and contributing to that is you get to see what you've created, you know, together in the moment. There's really nothing like live music to experience collective creation. A lot of the way that I actually create my artwork is very much in the same vein as recorded music. Like, when I'm drawing the art on a piece of paper, to me that's like sketching the lyrics in a notebook. It's like, it's the creative, creative process of sort of what do I want to say? What, what is this song going to be about? What's this art piece going to be about? And then as I take that drawing and I bring it into the computer and I start to trace the lines digitally and sort of start to build the file, that's like tracking the instruments for me. It's like, I'm, okay, I'm going to draw out the face of that bear. That might, you could consider the kick drum. That's like the base of the song. It's going to hold the whole thing together. And then as I get further into the piece, I start to develop layers of color and shading and effects and filters and things. And that's sort of like mastering the file. It's like, I've taken the finished piece, the song, the bear, and now I'm like giving it more life, more zing, more zest by sort of adding effects after the fact. So when I have these uh, pieces of artwork finished, working digitally, I'm able to save the files with multiple layers and I can sort of take those layers and use them in different pieces. So in a way I view that as like remixing the art, remixing a song. I can take a sample from one song and a sample from another and bring it together and create something brand new. So in a way, like I see this collage, this sort of remix of my art is sort of like a remix 
remix of a song. It's like I've, I've combined different elements from lots of different pieces of my artwork to create something brand new and fresh that I think really supports the, the Colorado lifestyle, the live music festival culture vibe that we're trying to capture with this collaboration. You, you know, can you tell us a little bit about the art that you have here with, along with Phil's art? What? Yeah, so we have actually a bunch of art pieces starting, the first art piece actually was the 2012 High Park Fire Monument that's on the front of the building. Mm -hmm. It was made by artists who actually worked at the Mish and they went and grabbed pieces of metal from um, burned down homes of their friends. So they went and took scrap metal from places that were special to them and they forged this art piece that they put on the, we put on the front of the Mish. So that's probably mm -hmm. the most incredibly special wow. piece that, that we have that kind of connects with the whole community. So that belongs to this whole canyon, that piece. And then the Phoenix was a hundred year old tree that died and we had a local artist from Boulder come up, a chainsaw artist, and, and do the Phoenix, which is, you know, from the from the ashes comes the Phoenix as it was after uh, the fires. So that was the next piece of art. And then we also have Luna Mafra, which is the steel sculpture. And she's all about kind of cocoon and hibernation during COVID and then kind of the rebirth and the reopening. And so she was installed as we came back from COVID. And she is a badass, like, you know, LED spirit. eye lit spirit. And she's like the kind of mischievous, you know, pixie, protectress of the Mish, so um, I dig her a lot. Yeah. yeah. And then this this last edition this is your piece, which I think is just an amazing, you know, new medium. Not only do the fans love the art around here, but the musicians that come here really appreciate. This is a off the beaten path venue. You know, it's it's hard for artists to make this stop, especially artists who are playing to rooms that are like 5,000 or you know 6,000 people, and they come here it's and they have. Kind of beautiful like place for them to yeah, stay. Yeah, and they chill out and they get off the grid. There's no cell phone. You know? How did you feel inspired to do this project? Did you like what about my artwork that you, did you feel is a good fit for it? The thing I appreciate about Phil is is you know he's he's about. He really is about inspiring others because he creates his artwork and he's also willing to get it out there. And it's not just hidden in a studio, you know. So I watched a video on Phil and I was like, you know, I really like what he says about creating. We're always trying to create. And then Danny, you know, same thing with Danny here at the Mishawaka. I'm like, who do you want to partner with? Who do you want to collaborate with, you know? You want to collaborate with like-minded individuals that have a passion for what they do. And I know that they both have passions for what they do. And Ron and I have passions for what we do. We, you know, we really do. The, the Mishawaka has a certain amount of magic to it. You know, I've been coming here for a long time and it's not its not just me that feels it. I mean, there's very few places that can make that happen. Mm -hmm. And when you when you have that, it's hard to keep it, right? So you can never become complacent. With it. And, and Danny's over, out here working this and, and, and her team of, of, of everybody she works with here and making this happen, right? The, the, the artwork she just described and think about all the food she served and bringing in, you know, 3,000 people in here to a venue to play music now that they're allowed to. You know, all the things she's had to overcome with the fires over the years. So so there's a ton of perseverance there. And if you talk and if you look at what Phil does, Phil's always creating. And and you know, you talk about the perseverance and I encourage you to go to Phil's website and he's got a great video and he'll kind of explain a, a little bit about his process of his artwork in his video. But it's all about creating and like in order to create he always has to persevere, right? Because you know, if you're done creating, if Phil's done creating, if we're done creating value for our customers, we're done at in our profession of, you know, selling Kias to, to people. But in the broader scope, it's about creating values and, 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 and being able to encompass everybody, all of the employees and all of our coworkers and, and all, all of our uh, all of our customers and creating value for them. And that's what keeps us going. And so there's a ton of, of, of alignment here with, with, the, with the mission, with Phil, and, and that's, you know, that's what inspired me, you know, as you, as you, as you go along. And you have to continually find things like that to inspire you. And that's why collaborating, that's why working with others is, 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 is fun. You know, and, and um, I find it uh, uh, very enjoyable. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you're, you're working with people that are passionate about what they do. Yeah, like, I appreciate how passionate you are about your art, and I appreciate how passionate you are about running the Mish. You know, I appreciate Ron for how passionate he is about about you know our operations at I-25 Kia. And you so. guys have been connected to this place much longer than I've been here. Because you've been coming here just more than 10 years ago. Oh, yeah. You started oh, yeah. Here. Since yeah. like 1996? Yeah. 97 for me. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, coming up this canyon and 
going to shows and camping and, and fishing. And it's unbelievable. I came up here mm -hmm. as much as we could. Yeah. You know, like. To what you were saying earlier about the magic of this place, it's like at any point, if anybody asked me, hey, do you want to go and take, a, take in a show at the Mish? You just say yes. All right, Phil, what is your favorite piece on this tent? Well, I will say it's pretty tough to designate a favorite as I've spent tons of time with all of this. Uh, and they all have special meanings to me, but one piece that's particularly uh, important is uh, my robin here. This is a piece of artwork that I created to sort of like remember the birth of my son. His name is Robin, and it's just a really special sort of like nod to becoming a parent. It's like, it is so much work. It's such an enormous challenge that nobody is ever prepared for, yet it's also so extremely rewarding and such a beautiful experience. So there's my Robin on the piece. This is one I even have tattooed on my arm here. So it's an important one to me. Um, Let me get that Robin. That is pretty cool. Uh, How old's Robin? Robin's gonna be seven tomorrow. Awesome, man. Yeah, so it's pretty exciting. For me to be able to see this work that I've spent literally decades creating, um, displayed here alongside this stage. Like, this is absolutely gorgeous. We're right on the banks of the Castle River. We got this crystal clear blue Colorado skies where I know people are gonna be performing music and creating atmosphere. It's it's really something special. I'm really, it's an honor for me to be able to showcase my artwork here at the Mishawaka. Personally, I can't wait to come for a concert here and see all the lights bouncing off of this. Yeah. It's gonna be insane. <laughs>